I may just do one more and then take a break. Um, so I went over number two and five so far. If there is a specific one that you want to see, you just write me a quick email, okay? Uh, let me pick number two. Just a straightforward uh, writing an equation problem. I think I assigned one like this as one of your weekly problems. So I'll put one on your test too. Find the equation of the line tangent to the graph of y equals oh, y equals x cubed times natural log of 4 minus 2x to the third power. So do you notice that this is a product, right? We are multiplying x cubed times natural log expression. So we're writing an equation of a tangent line. To write an equation of a tangent line, I need x. I'm going to write down what I need. I need to find x, which is 1. I need to find y, which is unknown. So let's start with finding the y. So y is what I will get if I plug in 1 into this function. What's that going to be? Um, first part is 1, natural log of, if I look at this log argument, I will get 4 minus 2, so it's just going to be y equals natural log of 2, y equals natural log of 2. I'll just go ahead and uh, create, uh, come, come up with, um, what's it called, I'll write, um, decimal approximation. I'll round it later when I'm done with it. But for right now, I'll just write it as natural log of 2. So that's easy, but now we need to find the slope. To find the slope, we need to find the derivative and plug in 1. And that's going to be the hard part of this problem. So um, the function is y equals, hold on, this is what we need to differentiate. And I will differentiate this using the product rule. To find y prime. Okay. Let's find y prime. So I'll say the first piece is x cubed. Derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The second piece is natural log of 4 minus 2x cubed, but now derivative of that is 1 over 4 minus 2x cubed times the derivative of the inside part of the log argument. So this part is something, this is the, the longer part, so that will be 1 over 4 minus 2x cubed times negative 6x squared. So I can say g prime is negative 6x squared over 4 minus 2x cubed. Okay, so I got all my pieces ready. Let us do the product rule then. So y prime is going to be first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. So let's put all these pieces together f is x cubed, g prime is negative 6x squared over 4 minus 2x cubed. And I'm adding this to g times natural log of 4 minus 2x cubed times um, g f prime, which is 3x squared. So I can plug in 1 now, but let's see if I can simplify this a little further. y prime is, I can multiply this times this, right? And get minus 6, negative 6x six to the 5th power, all over 4 minus 2x cubed, plus, I'll just switch the order of these two. There's nothing I can do about these two multiplication. I'll just write them next to each other. Now it's time for us to find m. m is equal to negative 6 times 1 to the 5th power. Because the x value was 1, they wanted us to plug in 1 into this function. 
plus 3 times 1 squared times natural log of 4 minus 2 times 1 cubed. And what is all that going to be? m equals um, this term becomes negative 6 over. All right, I'll go write this. I'll say this is negative 6 over 4 times 2. So the first fraction will become negative 3, right? The fract first fraction will become negative 3. But the second part, I can't really add this. So this is just going to be 3 times natural log of. And this inside part is just 2. Isn't that 4 minus 2? So that is the slope. That's the slope. So we found everything. We found everything. Now let me see. Did they want us to write? Hold on. Let me copy this above. This is the slope. And we have everything we need. We just need x, y, and m to write the slope, the equation of the line. Okay. So how about I add another page because I used up all the room to do the product rule. And right now I'm just going to copy this. And I'll go from there. I just need to write my final answer, right? So let's write the equation then. Equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, we have these points x1 and y1. So if I plug in, I'll get y minus natural log of 2 equals the slope of negative 3 plus 3 times natural log of 2 times x minus 1. So, you know, you know, I don't like the look of this. I think I should group it like this so that um, the slope is negative 3 plus 3 natural log of 2. Because when I didn't have, look, when I didn't have a parenthesis around this entire slope, it looks like I'm just multiplying this part. But that's not true. So I need to draw a parenthesis around the slope. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's an equation. It's not pretty, but I guess we can go ahead and write this in uh, decimal forms now. Um, okay. So what's natural log of 2? Ln2 is approximately points. See, I, I don't think, I don't know if I want to round it right now. All right, let, let me let me try to keep on going. Okay, y equal my, y minus natural log of two. I'll go ahead and distribute. Okay, negative three plus three natural log of two times x. That's the slope, right? And then I will have um, minus negative three plus three natural log of two. I was just distributing. And then finally, if I add natural log of 2 to both sides, I will get y equals, and this is time I type in this slope um, to get the decimal. The slope was negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 natural log of 2. So the slope is negative, hold on, I'll write that down. 0 0.92x. And look how ugly the y intercept is. Okay, this is a mess. This entire thing is the y intercept. It's just very accurate, right? But we should be able to get the decimal of that now. So what's that in decimal? Negative, 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 gosh, negative. Negative 3 plus 3 natural log of 2 plus natural log of 2. So the y intercepted blue circle part comes out to be plus, uh -oh, plus 1.61. I don't know why it, it wasn't, it's not supposed to be this complicated looking. It just looks complicated, like the slope was this. But I guess that. At any point, if you just wanted to write the decimals and work with those decimals, it would have looked much easier, I think. But, you know, this is okay. 
um, as long as your answers are close, round to the ne or it should be the same, round to the nearest hundredth. Um, it looks like that. If you use a slightly different method to write the equation, that should be okay. All right, that's it for number three. Kidding, I came up with a good idea. Let's check it graphically, okay? Because, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm just worried. <laughs> I want to check it graphically to see if it all makes sense in the graph. So, this was graphing. I'll go ahead and graph the original function given. I wonder what that looks like. So, so y equals x to the third power times natural log of 4 minus 2x cubed. It's a cute little graph. Look, it's, it's not a bad looking graph. But um, the point that we had was, remember the x value was 1, y value was natural log of 2. So the point is definitely on this curve I see. The final answer that I got rounded was this. Let me go ahead and graph it. y equals negative 0.92x plus 1.61. So let's see if it visually, oh, yeah, ah, we got it right. I can see that this green dotted line and the red graph intersects at this single point. And I think we're, it just looks a little bit off because my answer is rounded. So I wonder if I type the exact equation in. So instead of the decimal, um, if I do y minus natural log of 2 equals negative 3 plus 3 natural log of 2 and then x minus 1. Look at that. If I graph the exact equation, not the rounded decimal, it's a perfect tangent line and they intersect right at 1 natural log of 2. So we did everything right. I just wanted to see if we could check it graphically and that makes me feel so much better now, you know, because now that we know it is correct.